and welcome to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending February 15th, 2014. Starting with news about Attack on Titan, the English dub for Attack on Titan will debut at Anime Boston this year, March 21st through 23rd. So if you want to check out that dub, you will want to head over there. It's being directed by Mike McFarland um, with um, yeah, other folks involved. So uh, we'll, just, we'll just leave it at that. Um, so Anime Boston for that. Uh, we have a title for the next Pokemon movie, if you're interested. It'll be called um, Hakai no Mayu to Diancie, Cocoon of Destruction and Diancie. Uh, the film will introduce a new Pokemon called Diancie, uh, which is now in the Pokedex as a fairy and rock type that is, quote, created when Carbink undergoes a strange mutation, end quote. So, we all see. Uh, there's an introduction video on the uh, Pokemon YouTube channel that will be coming out, uh, do we have a date? Uh, July 19th as a roadshow. Speaking of anime films, a new Appleseed movie is in the works. It'll be a CG animated film directed by Shinji Aramaki, who directed the other uh, Appleseed CG films. And this is going to be a prequel, going back to seeing, uh, I can never pr uh, pronounce them correct, uh, Doinan and Briarios. Uh, as when they were living in Olympus, um, oh, I'm sorry, when they were living in search of Olympus. So before they actually got there, uh, which is kind of interesting. It's it's uh, material that we haven't really seen in anime before. Uh, Anaplex USA has announced its plans for the Nekomonogatari black and white Blu-ray sets. So um, there will be a Nekomonogatari black and Monogatari series second season um, uh, releases. They'll start by releasing Nekomonogatari black and Nekomonogatari White in limited edition Blu-ray box sets in April and June. Um, the Nekomonogatari Black set will include episodes 1 through 4 on two Blu-ray discs, plus a deluxe booklet, pin-up postcard set, and packaging illustrated by the character designer. That'll be MSRP of $50, which is actually not bad by Anaplex prices. Um, lots of other stuff uh, announced for the, the other bits and pieces. The White version will include episodes 1 through 5, um, same kind of stuff, uh, and that'll be for $60, MSRP. So you get it a lot cheaper elsewhere. Neon Alley has announced that they will be shifting to a more Hulu and Crunchyroll style model. Uh, used to be uh, only available for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 with a monthly subscription fee. Uh, now it's going to be free and ad-supported, much like Hulu and Hulu Plus. Um, and, and they'll move from a linear live stream schedule to on-demand video uh, with subtitled anime from business catalog, including simulcasts. And that'll start on April 1st. Uh, speaking of streaming anime, Crunchyroll has announced they're going to be streaming the Squid Girl original anime DVDs. So stuff released straight to DVD. Um, uh, and that'll include the mini-episodes Ink, You Can Break It, Squid That Normal, and Want to Play Hide and Seek. Uh, that'll uh, launch at 7 p.m. Um, I'm sorry, that, that launched at 7 p.m. on uh, last Wednesday. So more Squid Girl. Interesting seeing them doing more uh, original... Um, uh, basically OAV works than TV series. The uh, Several TV spots for The Wind Rises has launched. This is Hayao Miyazaki's latest film. Um, so there are uh, two television, uh, English television commercials which are now also streaming uh, on YouTube. So you can uh, check those out. Uh, more uh, theaters were, have been announced for The Wind Rises also. Meanwhile, the My My Miracle Kickstarter has reached its goal for an English dub. I'll explain more about that in, in the backstory. But if you're looking, interested in My My Miracle, you will be getting an English dub of that once the Kickstarter ends. Um, Discotech has uh, issued a statement regarding their dub of Blue Submarine number 6. They basically put the Toonami dub on there, um, and there's been some flack about that. Uh, they said uh, they were unaware of the issue, and they plan to release a single-disc DVD with the original dub. Again, more on that in the backstory explaining what's going on there. Um, uh, July uh, 5th, we'll see the new Girls und Panzer anime film. This will be Kore ga Honto no Anzio Sendes, the real Anzio battle. Uh, so that'll tell the story of the girls fighting the uh, uh, Anzio Girls High School. Uh, it'll feature three, I think they're new characters, I'm not sure, I'm not totally up on Girls und Panzer, and several new uh, tanks. Meanwhile, in manga news, both Hayao Miyazaki and Rumiko Takahashi have been nominated for Eisner Hall of Fame Awards. 
Um, the Comic Con International announced um, the Eisner Award judges have selected three that will definitely go in and 14 nominees for the Hall of Fame. Among those Hall of Fame, among those nominees are Hayao Miyazaki and Rumiko Takahashi, as well as others like Rube Goldberg, Fred Kita, Philippe Dule, uh, Dennis O'Neill, Antonio Pro, Pro, yeah, Prohias, uh, George Tusca, and others. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so uh, uh, stay tuned for the backstory where I explain some of the backstory on some of these stories. Otherwise, that's the news for the week. Thanks for watching.